Okay, Sebastian Tungren here with another video. Um, today I want to talk about death. And I want to talk about what it means to be alive. And how we can make the best life possible in this lifetime. How we can all create the best possible versions of ourselves. How we can all inspire each other and have a fucking awesome time, okay? So, I have a very simple recipe formula for how I live my life and it involves a lot of self-reflection but basically the fundamental question is what do you enjoy doing? What do you enjoy doing? What do you like about life, right? You write a list, you figure that out. I just wrote one. <laughs> and uh, then you have a list of what do you not enjoy doing? Simple, right? You choose to do more of what you enjoy, you do less of what you do not enjoy. For example, for me, what I've written here is I enjoy intimacy, physical contact, I enjoy love, connection. With other people. Um, I enjoy travel, I enjoy hiking, I enjoy spending time in nature, I enjoy inspiring people, I enjoy talking to people and communicating. I love talking to people on the bus, on the train, and just talking to people. It makes me feel happy. I just feel so blissful inside and it's amazing. Um, I enjoy deep, profound, meaningful conversations with the people I love, especially that. I enjoy music. I love music so much and it gives me, the vibrations of the music gives me so much uh, and I'm so grateful for that. Uh, I enjoy being grateful. I do a gratitude exercise. So those are some examples. Um, then there are things I want to remember to enjoy, things that I don't enjoy so much but that I want to enjoy more of, like when I meditate, when I do yoga, when I I'm just walking outside. When I'm just walking, I want to learn to appreciate. And I'm going to add another one, which is to enjoy making these videos as well. More. Because it's it makes me feel a bit tense, you know. So anyway, do more of what you enjoy, do less of what you don't enjoy, right? Really simple. Um, Life is really short, and you've heard this many times. Life is so short, but we take it all for granted. And in my opinion, that's just not very pragmatic. And I'm a pragmatist. I love things that are helpful. I love uh, ideas that are helpful, and I do not enjoy metaphysical speculations, which I find completely pointless, like... Uh, do I even have any examples? No, it's completely out of mind. I don't even have any examples anymore. Okay, cool. So, um, where was I? Well, enjoyment, no enjoyment. And I was talking about ah, this. I don't want to edit this because I don't want my life to be edited so and I'm, I really apologize I should have made a list of well like a basic structure of this video so yeah Jesus okay I'm just gonna edit this after <laughs> anyway so life is way too short for us to just go around like zombies not enjoying it I think what life is all about is just enjoying ourselves. It is about sharing that enjoyment. It's about following our passion. It's about having this, we all have this flame inside. We all have this goal. We all have these dreams. Well, I assume that most of us do. And we all have these dreams we want to pursue. And a lot of times we don't think that it is possible for us. Well, I'm telling you that it is possible. 
and not just possible. It's very, very realistic as well. Because most of our blocks are only within our minds. For example, um, there's this video of an ant and you've drawn a circle around it and it just isn't able to go outside the circle. Another example is elephants at a circus. As infants, they are beaten every time they try to escape. Eventually, they stop trying and they just give up. And then they don't even have a rope anymore to prevent them from escaping. But they don't because they think that they will get hurt. And it's the same in life. If we stop trying, we will not ever get where we want to go. I don't know why the screen turned dark all of a sudden. Bear with me on this one. Um, therefore, learn to enjoy life. Do more of what you enjoy. Do less of what you don't enjoy. Make everything a bit more enjoyable. And a really good way to do this is, for me, I found meditation is a very powerful tool to be more absorbed in the present moment so that you have the ability to enjoy things more. We take life for granted and we live sometimes um, people my age especially like go out party a lot and they stay up all night feel like shit the entire day after it's good I mean you enjoy yourself right but it's not sustainable you gotta think long term as well it's not just YOLO it's about knowing what is best for yourself. And sometimes that means substituting short-term gratification for long-term happiness, love and well-being and health. We take so many things for granted. But the fact is that we humans are so fragile. If the next breath, if you stop breathing, you're gone. In no time you will be dead. And now think about all the things that you leave behind. Because everything that you do is going to have an impact on the world. And that's part of our responsibility is to make sure that the energy that we leave behind, the legacy that we leave behind, because we all have a legacy, we all transfer energy somehow to other people. And it spreads like ripples on water. Because if I do something nice to a stranger on the street, that person is going to be more inclined to do something nice. And that's called move it forward. Is that what it's called? Pass it, pass it forward or something like that. Um, what I want for my life is to enjoy, is to share, is to connect. That's all I want and I want to contribute as well. I want every single thing that I do to be an act of love toward myself, whether it be toward the universe, toward my friends, my family, the random lady on the street with the weird hat and the dog. <sighs> Life doesn't owe you anything, but you owe yourself to take care of yourself. And we can all learn to understand that we're all so privileged just to be here, to be alive, to be breathing, to have a heart that beats, I don't know how many times per year, every single moment for a hundred years, 
for your entire lifetime without stopping even one instant. Most of the time. <laughs> Most of the time it doesn't. <laughs> without stopping for even one moment. Isn't that magical? And we were gifted our hearts at birth. We weren't. We didn't have to work for it. This is something we can all learn to appreciate because we humans are so good at seeing the negative and we're so bad at seeing the positive. Stay focused, stay sharp. Uh, I don't have a good tagline yet, but you know, I'm working on it. So enjoy life and um, peace.